Why? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. The glorious Monday. It's overcast. I think it's around 60 something degrees outside here in the southern state of Texas. With that being said, we're going to go over some internet drama. Even though I'm playing news, news on politics, it's because politics are at play here. And I don't know what the truth is, but it seems like something's something is a, a, a foot here and I don't know what the, the truth is but I'm just going to start with the father Richard Morthland Richard Morthland born November the 10th 1959 is a member of the Rock Island County Board and was a Republican member of the Illinois General Assembly for a single term from 2011 to 2013 Moreland served as the Rock Island County Board from 2018 to 2011 and was re-elected to the County Board in 2016. Mother has a bachelor's degree, blah, 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 on October 28, 2017. It was announced that Morthland would be running mate Representative Gene Lives in the 2018 Republican Party against incumbent Governor Bruce Rohner, the incumbent lieutenant, Governor Evelyn Shiganati, the Ives Morthorn ticket, losing, receiving 48.60 of the vote, and Roger Spaghetti winning 51 of the votes. So, pretty much, he's from Illinois, which means that uh, Eliza Blue is from Illinois. So, Richard Mark, the member of the Illinois House Representative, from the 71st district in office. Details born Republican Party spouse Betsy Morthland, two daughters, including Eliza Blue, aka Eliza Cuts, aka Eliza Steep. Now, I don't know if any of this is true, to be honest. All I know is things are not adding up in, in her category, which, as you can say, the quartering got her got banned from Twitter. He made a couple of videos of it. Brittany also got banned. And that's the part that I don't really like. And this was all about screenshots from this video right here. Which got 93k views. And this was over six years ago. I'm not gonna play it. You can play it if you want to. But I didn't forget to uh, pause that one. This was from 10 years ago from a phone call about being a Vixen Dixon. This is going off with of the name of Eliza Seep or Sipe. And there's only two videos here. And there's this one right here, both 10 years ago, talking about her being a video Vixen. So the, none of this is new. I mean, none of this is is groundbreaking none of it is anything to that nature it's just something's running afoot um of course this is the person that got both the quartering and Brittany locked it's uh funny because now her tweets are protected so she's hiding so there's there's one theory that i'll probably float that I mean, the gene is a fed and is trying to discredit her, which is pretty, pretty sad because um, I don't know what the truth is. All I know is that two internet personalities shared a clipping of this video are now banned from Twitter because Eliza has Elon Musk's ear and Amanda Jean is probably part of that ear that Elon Musk is listening to. And these two people know the law pretty well and they're banned from Twitter now I don't really care that they're banned from Twitter I really care about the reasons that they're banned from Twitter and of course Ms. Blue has made comments about her putting together a legal team to go after these two people which I find very very shocking because you think someone in her position would know the law and Funny enough, she ends the tweet saying that 
you should learn the law before you start commenting of non-consensual pictures. But is it consensual? Was this video from from the uh, Wish or the World Stage Hip Hop or I forget what it is? I can't eat Eliza knows. Was that consensual or was that non-consensual? If it was non-consensual, why is this up for six years? Why do you have a video of you recording your mother asking about being a video vixen about 10 years ago? Now, of course, there's the... Um, Romeo, not Romeo, but Chemical Romance, where she was dating one of the members. Actually, let's let's read this. Um, I don't know if it has any substance or not to it, but she was a hairdresser that was obsessed with Gerald and managed to force herself into his life through work and friendship she formed with Mickey and Alicia Search, world's most hated crew. For more information about her and Alicia, generally understanding that she was she was all but stalked him. And portrayed his life so she was unavoidable and then went off on the deep end when they were in a relationship and he left her. Then he was engaged to Lynn's within the same year. She also made herself and information about her about General very easily accessible to fans, flaunting at the relationship. Then got mad when she got hate about her behavior. She lurked the I guess My Chemical Romance sites and communities like Live Journal and her post public blogs that she could easily read MySpace, BuzzNet, All Purge is wild. If you haven't read her fan fiction, we wrote that there's a link about it. Links are all dead, but the text is also in the post. In the relationship, explains some things a bit poorly since it was written so terribly it's hard to read. Also note that there was long-standing rumor that Gerald paid for her to have an abortion that she may or may not have started herself, but she later denied ever happening, and she stated she's never been pregnant. So I don't know if this is true, um, but there's definitely her her past is her past. I mean, we all have a past. And that's what makes this video kind of hard is because she's allegedly doing a lot of good for bringing awareness to victims of sex trafficking or just human trafficking. So that that's a very valid point. And someone made a point that there are people out there that are trying to discredit her because she's very effective letting people know about these tragedies and actually shedding a light and actually getting people convicted. Not to mention that there was the John Doe that she spoke about constantly saying that John Doe's picture of him being underage is on Twitter and that needs to be purged. And when Elon bought Twitter, he purged a lot of the uh, the CP out there, which is great, which is great. That's a great valid point. But at the same time, her motives are now in doubt because she got two people two prominent internet figures banned from their accounts on Twitter. Which is which is sad. I mean, I get that someone may be ashamed of their past and it's kind of a shame that someone went out of their way to ban these two people asking questions about her history. It seems like it's very manip manipulative and it's starting to cast doubt on her true intentions. Which, which is a shame because she's bringing a lot of, or highlighting an issue that we need to address, which is human trafficking here in the United States. So, I don't know how this feels. I'm just rambling. Because I don't know what the truth is. I don't know if all of this is true. I don't know if she's just a terrible person. I don't know if she's lying about being trafficked. I don't know if she's a natural victim or not. Which is a shame because she was doing a lot of good when it comes to human trafficking awareness and being activists for them. So, I guess I'll leave the question to you. What are your thoughts on Eliza Blue or Eliza Morthland?
which is, I guess is her is her birth name or her dad name. It really doesn't matter. I just find it interesting. I find this reality internet drama very interesting at a time where there's a lot of internet drama. And this actually is actually more damning because it discredits her work. It discredits her actions by getting those two people removed from Twitter. Discredits the good work. Discredits the name that she's built up. Now, was this all based off of a lie? I don't know. Anyways, leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are. I'll be interested to know that. With that being said, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.